Hey there Capricorn, welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. What's going on for Capricorn? Let's see. We have Wise Leader, you are a beacon for others. So you are becoming a leader or are a leader. Discovering truth, you stand in the light of truth. So whatever you're trying to put across there, you're saying this the truth. Nice. What else do we have for Capricorn? We have healing. Your beacon for others, your body always healing others too. And manifestation. You're manifesting something new in your life. You're very powerful right now, so keep everything positive. Especially if you're healing others and beacon for others, you have to stay positive. And um you could be healers. What did I pick up? Because I have sorry. That wanted to pop out though with justice. I took the wrong deck. I need one more card up here. And we have it's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. You have to saying stay positive for your manifesting. And it said bring love into the situation. New moon and her Aquarius. Okay, this wanted to pop up. Let's see if it comes up again. Justice. There's gonna be justice here anyway. Within the reading, there's gonna be justice, um, labor energy. But I grabbed the wrong deck. Okay, so now we can do this. What is falling into place for you? Oh, celebration. Something to get you coming together. This came up like a few times already that um, was come well into places. People are celebrating there. There might be a party you're going to, maybe <clears throat> a wedding, a um, anniversary, uh, a get together. Could be about a new job, could be about something for your love life, but you're celebrating something. And what will be arriving soon? <clears throat> oh, death, transformation. Now, this could be a literal death. Usually, it isn't. Usually, it's transformation. It's something ending for something new to begin. So, that is arriving soon. Something, some kind of transformation. Scorpio energy. Let's see. What will be leaving? Ooh. So what's leaving is you. You're, there's something that happens suddenly. Out of the blue. It might be you leaving a situation. That could be the death here. You might be uh, ending a relationship. And walking away from something. You know, going to something better. But this is going to happen all of a sudden out of the blue. You might surprise people the way this ending comes in. Or someone might be surprising you ending something. But this is... Um, something that's just you weren't expecting this and whenever tower comes in it's always for the better and also with this six of swords that's moving on moving on from something that was not good to something much better i mean you are going to be celebrating whatever it is here um what will be returning Ooh, money's coming in. Opportunity's coming in. This looks really good. I'm really liking these cards. So there's a new beginning. It could be a new job, a new situation. Something coming in. Offer is coming in. Now you have to move on the offer. The offer might come in, but unless you make a move on it, it's, it's not going to pay off here. So we have the moon. Something's hidden. Something. There's a lot of emotions here. But I'm really liking this. This looks like a very good opportunity coming in for you guys. Let's start clarifying okay so why do we have the three of cups here okay this is you know you're probably being asked out someone finds you very attractive this is um leo sagittarius aries energy but with the queen of wands this is you someone that is really into you really um attracted to you whether you're handsome or pretty um but they're, they're very attractive and they're going to ask you out that's what's coming in and what about this death card why is it that wait i'm sorry i'm using three i don't you know what <laughs> i'm throwing off we have a hurricane coming in i'm trying to get this the last reading i have to get in before I, i'm afraid i'm gonna lose power so don't mind me here i, I just want to make sure i get everybody's readings done and i'll be posting them for the coming week here Okay, so page uh, Knight of Cups, 
so this celebration yeah this is your wish fulfillment there's someone coming in with a love offer or you're going towards them whichever way this is but someone sees you i think someone's coming in towards you seeing you as very attractive could be a scorpio cancer pisces and you're the wish fulfillment or and your or this is your wish come true but there's going to be a celebration here and the death card what will be arriving soon Well, that's interesting. We have the Six of Swords here twice. So you're definitely moving away from something, something better. You've been through the battle. You've, you, you know, you're holding your ground. You're doing well here. And you have a choice to make. There's a decision. You got the Two of Wands here. But you're definitely moving on from something. There's a lot of movement here. Even with this Death card. I mean, that's something ending to something to begin. And this is, this Skeleton Knight is on a horse moving. Okay, so we have two cards that came out here for what we leave me. Let's clarify these. The Tower with the Six of Swords. Why do we have the Tower with the Six of Swords? Wow, fast moment. Oh my gosh. So this, something's happening that's leaving that's actually going to be bringing in this, um, this fast energy this also for the ten of pentacles so there's going to be abundance coming in and there's also going to be a love offer with this leaving with this ending wow I'm gonna shock you for sure cancer energy and then we also have cancer scorpio pisces energy there what about this return this ace of pentacles Okay, so this is either you're holding back on letting someone know about this opportunity that's coming in or, or else someone's hiding something from you. But there is going to be communication. Something is going to be moving fast. And it's also bringing enlightenment to this. It's, you're going to be... Something that was hidden is going to be shown to you. See this, this um, hermit. The hermit actually holds a star in there. So this is wish fulfillment. So something is going to be brought to light that was in the dark this is going to also be healing because you have the snake energy there this is um going deep within this is also the teacher and the student so you're learning something here and it's going to be communication and it's going to help you with your finances because um opportunities coming in and come there's a lot of quick movement here things are moving very quick for you so be ready and we do have someone come back from the past or something come back past this is a uh, past memories resurfacing so this could be this page of cups coming returning from the past. Okay, let's get some more cards in here. And again, healing, healing. A lot of you could be healers. Choices. So there's seven cups. You might have more than one choice. It might be in love. It might be in business. There's opportunities coming to you, though. And you're going to hold your ground here. You're going to protect whatever it is. You've been through a lot. And you're waiting for something to come in here. You're waiting for an opportunity. You're waiting for something. You're, ex you're expecting something. Wow. Death card again. Scorpio energy. Very strong Scorpio. is also a transformation going on here. There is a death and a rebirth going on. Things are changing. Things are shifting. It looks good. Communication coming in. Page of Wands. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Someone's going to be trying to communicate with you. Get a, get a message to you. Maybe through others. Might be a phone call, a text, an email. It could even be a letter. And also some of you could be starting something new. A new project. Uh, going back to school. Learning something new. Studying something new. And someone's really thinking about you. You're on someone's mind. This is also a card that could be recovery too with the four swords. Um, taking a break, taking a breather from something. Maybe even after this tower you need to uh, take a little time out. Yep, 
Yeah, someone is coming in with an offer. This could also be, be you offering someone something because it is a pentacle. And, and so that's an earth sign. So it could be Capricorn, another Capricorn, a Taurus, or Virgo. It could be you. Um, something starting, some a new, this is new energy. Something brand new starting, an offer. It could even be a job offer. You don't think it's that big, but it could really develop into something more because we do have the uh, Ace of Pentacles coming in here too. Yeah, something's over. Something's d done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Th something that was probably very troubling is over now. The situation's gone. Dead. Finish. And it's bringing you a lot of happiness. Whatever this is, you got the Three of Cups here and the Three of Cups here. So you're, it's definitely bringing you a lot of happiness. This ending. Celebration. You could be uh, going out and celebrating this star yes aquarius energy this is hope fulfillment this is like the nine cups but in major arcana so you're getting your dreams are coming true very nice reading i'm liking this reading for you guys and someone's coming toward you pretty quickly here aquarius libra um gemini there's going to be communication this is definitely a card of communication Someone wants to talk to you. There might be another offer coming in here. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, son. Also, Leo energy. The happiest card in the deck. Look, it's, it's the same color here as the Page of Wands. Whatever this communication is that's coming, it's going to make you very happy. You could also be accepted into college, too, for those of you who applied to a college. Um, and then 10 cups could be wish fulfillment. A lot of happiness, a lot of happiness in the, in the home, a, a complete family life. And divine timing, will, fortune, things are going in your favor. It looks really good. I'm really liking this reading. And there's, you put a lot of work, or you're going to be putting a lot of work. You could be working on a lot of different projects. You could be actually really diving into your work right now. Spend a lot of time on your career. Yes, six of cups. Someone come back from the past. Got it twice here. It could be now for people that get upset when someone this comes this card comes up. Please note that this could be someone that you have not met this at this lifetime. It could be someone from past lives that is returning again to you know unfinished business. And there's a lot of happiness. You'll you'll know when you meet someone new and they feel very familiar. And there's and they're very comfortable. That's usually a past life connection. Because right off the bat, you feel comfortable with them. It's like, I know you. You do. You just didn't meet them yet in this lifetime. But your souls know each other. And this is more likely what's happening here. So if you already know this person, it could be several lifetimes that you've been together and you already met them in this lifetime. Or you're going to meet them now. And this is a really deep, deep connection. Soulmate connection. Twin flame even. For some of you. Gemini energy. A lot of deep love here. Celebrating. Getting together. Judgment. Yeah, see something coming back around. That's the judgment card. I think it's with this relationship. It could also be a, a business opportunity that maybe didn't pan out before, but it's coming back in now and it'll work out. I feel more like it's a love thing, but... It, be different for different people and you have to make a decision the two of swords and you don't have all the facts or something's hidden from you and usually with this card this in this deck i feel like there's other people interfering in your decision making and you can't listen to them because they're trying to persuade you to do something that will benefit them not you so do what's right for you not what's right for these people don't listen to them listen to yourself and if, it, if you agree with what they're saying, then fine. But otherwise, you know, you have to do what's right for you. King of Cups. Someone's coming towards you with a lot of love. And that would be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Might be a mature person. Someone older. They and Maybe together, when you were together before, when you were younger. They might have been more of a knight of Cups. But now they have matured. And they're not the same person. So maybe it didn't work out before because maybe you guys were too young.
but there is a commitment here. There's someone who wants to have a serious commitment, get married or move in together. There's definitely a deep connection here. Looking good. And it's going to be shocking. When this person shows up or when you meet this person, you're not going to expect it. They're going to come out of the blue or somehow they're going to shock you. Either by what they say to you or what they, how close, you know, for some of you, I feel like it's like, wow, you guys are so much on the same wavelength. You never met anybody like this. And that's going to totally blow your mind. Also, it's the way you meet might be shocking. But something's going to surprise you. You might meet them in the weirdest place and that might be shocking. Do a couple more and we'll close this off. Knight of Wands. Okay, so we have, this is the Playboy Playgirl, but in this situation I just think that this person, the energy here I'm getting is that they come in so quick. That's shocking because this is very quick. This is impulsive. And then we have the tower. So if they are someone that you know from the past in this lifetime, they might just all of a sudden appear at your door or just all of a sudden you turn around they're right there. Somehow they're going to shock you. And it might be that it takes them a lot of, um, they have to get up their courage to come towards you. They are someone that you know in this lifetime that's trying to make a comeback. But, you know, so hear them out because if that's the case, and it took a lot of courage to do this. And if, you know, if it's not going to work, then it's not going to work. But, you know, unless it's someone really horrible, then just stay away from them. Yes, someone's holding on to this, though. They don't want to let go, but they're hoping that this can't, that you can't connect, that this, they're holding on to this relationship. They might be up in their head about it. They might have other people trying to talk them out of it. Um, I don't know. That's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because the whole thing is not going to resonate for you. Or it can, but... In most cases, it won't. But yeah, there are a lot of times that it's just it's amazing when all of a sudden, oh my god, the whole reading resonated. And well, then that you're definitely meant to hear it. Wow, Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of passion here. This person has very deep feelings for you. There's a lot going on here. There is. This is deep. This runs deeper than you would ever know. I don't know if they can even express how much passion they have. They might, but you know what? Sometimes with the the, the King of Cups is very emotional, has a lot of love, but they don't always. They might be too emotional to even show. They and, and then sometimes they. It depends on on what other aspects are in their chart. Whoever you're dealing with, sometimes they're just very loving, caring, and very emotional and show a lot of emotion. Some, they, they keep it bottled up. So it's going to be different for different people. It just depends on your sign. You can't just say, okay, this is a water sign, so they are very emotional or they're, they show no emotion. You can't say that. You just can't do it. There's too many aspects in everybody's chart that changes the way people are. That makes up the whole. Okay, so here, yeah. The world card. We're going to end it with the world card because this is completion. This is something coming back around. Something that needs to return to you. Especially with the um, the Wheel of Fortune. This is something co returning. Coming back around. This is someone who wants to um, try this again. Hoping and praying that this is going to work out. Because they see you as their wish fulfillment. You're, you're their star. You're their hopes. You're their dreams. You're, you're their everything. They, they, I, this feels so intense. I can't even tell you. I'm surprised the devil didn't come up that your your sign didn't come up in here. Because, well, yeah, this is this is a very intense love connection. So if you don't feel that, then this is not for you. Whoever it, this is for, you both feel the same way. I feel like the connection is equal. You don't. You both feel this intense, this chemistry, this passion, this desire. It's intense. So I can say if there's someone that's around that you're saying, oh, no, not for me. I don't want it. Well, then this is not your reading. So just leave it and take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, please leave comments. Let me know if it resonated. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.